All right, evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. All right, evening, so let's sir. start um, with the homework um, from the respective groups. All right, so I'm going to, you know, I go according to my participants list. So the first name I'm seeing on my list is Natoya Williams. So if you or your group members would like to share, go ahead for me. Let me just clean. Uh, I'm going to share my homework. I don't even remember the group, but I have my homework. OK. All right, let's take this off. Share screen. Seven nine seven nine fifty seven nine seven nine fifty. Seven nine seven nine fifty. Sorry, are you seeing the screen? No, I'm not seeing it. Uh, not I'm not seeing a screen if you're sharing. I'm coming, sir. I'm not I'm just muted. I've never shared a screen before. All right, while she's trying to do that, Nikita, Nikita, go ahead for me, please. Just a minute, sir. Sorry, coming up in a minute. All right, I'm seeing Rocky Shea uh, McDonald's. I'm seeing yes, sir. You're uh, seeing my screen, sir. Yes, I am. It's me and Nikita, sir. Okay. All right. So you're supposed to. Is there anything wrong with the with the first one, people? Anything wrong? I'm go back on the Zoom to see if my screen is share. It is sharing, so don't trouble the thing. I'm seeing your screen. She's asking if anything wrong with it. Last name, first name, initial, year, month, day, title of newspaper. It's a nightmare, massive fire, crazy commodity. All right, so you're supposed to put a comma after the from. Oh. Yeah. In both instances. The New York Times is not a magazine. The New York Times is a newspaper. New York Times is not a magazine. New York Times is a newspaper. It's one of the biggest newspaper in the United States. So you only you have two um, newspaper articles. The second one is not a is not a magazine. Okay, sir. I thought it was a magazine because it said New York Times magazine, but no, the New York Times is a newspaper. Sir. Okay. And All right. Thank you very much. Very good work. Thank you. My All camera. right. All right. Natal, you're able to share screen now. Yes, sir. So you're seeing the screen? Yes, and I'm already seeing errors. Can you guys tell her what is wrong with the, with both her um her examples? Oh, I see this. Sure, the see newspaper it. article doesn't have anything in italics. Right. So while they are telling you, um, just make the corrections. Give me a sec. I'm going to mute my mic. But correct it while they are telling you. Dean is in capital. The what? The, the word being should be um, a common letter. Oh, okay. And the A also. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, please make the corrections as they're telling you. They're spacing issues. Holy part issues with this one. So the um, 
It's supposed to be double line spacing and you're supposed to um tell her how to do it. Black to do English. hanging. So I like you're supposed to do hanging. Highlight information. Right click. Right click the mouse. What are you seeing? Right click on the mouse. Press the right part. Right click. Mm -mm. Press the right, the right part on the mouse. Okay, you have to go on paragraph. I have to go on paragraph, so right click and do exactly what you say. We still not get it. You're supposed to press one somewhere, Max. Special and underneath it. You must have something. Yeah, all right, highlight the, the more, highlight the information. Yes, I like the information. Press so, the right part on right. the mouse. Is it the mouse you're using? No, I'm using a laptop. Press the right part on it then, on the laptop. You have the right button and you have the left button. You have to keep the mouse on the blue thing when it highlights, because if I do so, it's going to come off. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you very much. So keep the mouse up on the blue carrot up. Yeah. yeah. Press the right part. Still come up and it's the right. Still go ahead and press the paragraph and special. It is still come up. It is still work. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's coming. It's not going on it. Can you put it to the um, left? Okay, because I don't know how your laptop is like. So try the what? Go on tools. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go on citation. What about format? Citation. Up top. Citation. Come down. Come down. Come down. Come down. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and then it will give me like there's no citation. Right click and tell me what you're seeing for a minute. Yes, because it's on dock, it's giving issues. So go. Oh, okay. It's not the docs that is giving the issue. She's not properly doing the thing that you're telling her to do. It's not the docs. You can edit. You can do whatever you're telling her to do in Google Docs. But who, is, who did you share the document with? Who did you work? With whom did you work, Natoya? I work by myself, sir. And this is why I ask guys to work with, with somebody else so that when you, you don't understand one part, the other person can assist you. Can you share the document? With, which room were you in? Do you remember at least one person's name? Because if you share the document, they can assist you in terms of um, doing this thing. Okay, it was Nikita, Monique, Michelle. All right, click on the share button for me, please. Okay. Click to the top right, click on the share button. Yes, sir. All right, and name before, give your, un why you look like you locked the document? Skip, no. click skip for me, click skip for me. Oh, no. All right. All right, can you type in one of them? There are people, Andrew. Just let one of them I don't tell know you there. Can somebody just tell her yeah. already email, please? Type Nikita and see what comes up, N-I-K-I. -I. Sir, I have a laptop for you, but check it. That's All right. So, who else? Who has a laptop? Can I see, sir? Go back for me because she doesn't have a laptop. Anybody in the class has, is working with a laptop? Yes, sir. She can send to my email. No, she's not sending it to your email. Just um, delete that for me and, and tell us tell us your name, please. 
Just delete yes. that for me, please. Just go back, back, back for me. What's yes, your name, sir. please? Janelle Johnson. Janelle that Johnson. Just spell your name. Janelle. J-A-N-E-J-A-N-E-L-L-E. See that. Here it is at the bottom, right? Johnson. Right. Click on that for me. Then press got it. Just click on got it. Press. Yeah, editor, send for me. Click on send for me. All right, Janelle, can you help her for me now, please? Okay, sir, I'm going to check on the information. Right, it should be shared with you in your email. Now stop sharing. No, do not stop sharing. She's going to help you. She does. You don't need to stop sharing. You're sharing the document, not the screen. Oh, okay. So she's going to be able to go in and um. What the hell is this? Why would they send this to my? Well, I'm not looking at this. Janelle, tell me when you're seeing that, when you have received the information. Sir, I'm checking it and I'm not seeing it. But she just shared it with you. Why are you not seeing it? Can I'm you refresh your, refresh your, refresh for me. Refresh your, your, your um, browser. Still not seeing it, sir, because I'm in my ECC email. Are, are you refreshing and you're not seeing it? Yes, sir, I'm not seeing it. Can you log out and log back in? Log out okay. of your email and log back in, that is. Not out of the class, out of your email. Okay, sir. Okay, sir, I'm seeing it, so I'm going to share screen now. All right, you're seeing, you're, no, you're not supposed, don't share screen. Just go into the document and start making the corrections. She, okay, we all sir. will be able to see what you're doing. Okay. Right, so we, I can, you see that we're seeing what you're doing now? Yes, sir. So just just do do the corrections. Are you able to 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 type um Janelle? No, you don't need to write up there. Yes, you are Janelle. Go and just block the thing and do the double space and Sir, all of that. I am just testing so you can see. That's why. Yeah, because I never, I wasn't seeing anything uh, moving. So the, can you just block the thing? Are we taking too long with this one thing? Okay. Sir, I'm not seeing the paragraph thing because I changed well, it. I don't see a block see. anything. I don't see a block anything, you know. I was yes, sir. And did you click right? Yes, it's still not coming up on this. This is what come up. As you can see. And I changed it. I went into tool and changed it by the citation to the AP edition from. You remember, NLE. the first thing I taught you is that you don't use a citation tool. You are supposed to physically do it. That was one of the first things I told you. I am not in the option, sir, to the paragraph thing. All right, it can you share the doc? Go back to share for me, Natalia. Go back to share for me. Yes, sir. And, and share the document with our, with Robin. That, so skip, skip, skip. Yes. R-O-B-I-N dot Clark. My name should come up.
Where's the dot? Dot. Could you go? At, at ECC dot edu dot jm. Not sure why my name didn't come up. There it is. Let's click on the, the, the one below. Share the document with me. No. <laughs> Did you click on my name? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Difference that will come up now. Can you Difference just click on the document, up. please? Got click on dot it. Got it, please. Done. And Wonder if you give me editing rights. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can do it from my end. So let me log out and log in. I hope you shared it with me actually. Why am I not seeing the document? I'm not seeing it. Why am I not seeing it? Did you actually share that document with me? Does it say? Um go back to share for me click on share again let me see something because i'm not sure that you it was shared with one person all right skip, click skip yeah right. it wasn't shared with me type in back my name please r-o-b-i-n c-l-a-r-k-e at ECC click all right just click on that right right send no for me click on send share anyway all right so let me check now to see if it's on my end should be seeing it now why am I not seeing it? I'm still not seeing it. Okay, docs. I am not seeing it. That's the operational plan. So why am I not seeing it? I should see it. Let's refresh again. Sir, are you looking in your email exactly for information? I look in the drive and I look in my email and I'm not seeing anything. Sir, check in your the email that you send you. Check it by docs. You have to go, go in docs and then you will see it come up. It won't come up in the email as a message. Okay, let me try that. I am not seeing any docs on my thing. Uh, I click on docs. I'm actually looking for it. The final thing that was shared with, I'm not seeing that. Or I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it because this is supposed to refresh, study annual report, strategic plan. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it. This is, I'm not seeing it in my email and I'm sure you shared it with me. I'm not sure, I'm not seeing it. All right, so stop sharing for me. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it, probably will come up. Stop sharing, we'll do the corrections. Um, Alia, how would go ahead for me? Okay, Mr. Dalani, can go ahead and share your screen. All right, so I'm going to share screen. Um, are you seeing my screen? Yes, sir. 
Yes, yes. Is COVID correct? That's what we write, COVID. Uh, no. Ah. You're still incorrect. Are the OVID lowercase or they're supposed to be uppercase? Can you double check for me? Okay. Just Google it for me, please. All right. Ugh. I want for you to correct it right now. You know, we're waiting on you. Sure. Yes, sir. It's all to be capitalized. Okay. Yeah. Where's the magazine? Uh, it's right here. We actually did two different things. Magazine is right here. All right, so stop sharing this with me and share the magazine. Uh, sure. Uh, stop. Next time, please ensure both are on the same document. That's how you do um, a reference list. Everything is on one document. Uh, can you see the magazine? The screen is not sharing. OK. Can you space it? Why is it so close to the box? Can it be spaced, please? Sure. Is there is everything okay with this one, guys, or is there a need for corrections? Hello, I'm I'm listening. Is there a need for corrections or is everything okay? Sir, the the um the URL is incorrect. Right, the URL is incorrect. What else is wrong? Sir, um the part the Halloween shouldn't it be in a common? The Halloween should be H? common letter. The H. Should be lowercase. The H should be lowercase in my What else is wrong? There's still something else that is wrong that I don't hear anybody commenting on. Sir, it doesn't look like it's hanging. It is not hanging. It's not, it's not that it doesn't look like it's hanging. It is not oh. hanging. So can you make those corrections quickly, please? Uh... Right. Uh... Uh, special, yeah, hang in. Okay. Um, but, sir, when you hover over the, <laughs> the URL, the link. Is it's the link that you, is the link that you're supposed to copy and paste, not, it, it's not anything else. You don't hover over anything for for APA. You're supposed to copy and paste the actual URL. Uh, so that needs to be corrected. Okay. All right. All right. All so right. Yes. Yeah, so stop sharing for me. So before we go any yeah, before okay. we go any further, let me just teach you know how to document uh, an, a a journal. journal article so we're going to watch the video first and then 
we I was newspaper on. I don't know why it's so long. All right. If I remember, where's my paper? Uh, where am I public journal? Let me see if I find APA introduction. All right, let me share screen quickly. Come on, squares. No. Yes, share screen. All right, so journal article. We did author web page already. So academic journal article. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say it's about seven. I'm trying to remember. All right. So for journal article, it's last name, comma, first name, initial, full stop, year of publication, title of chapter in journal um, if i remember correctly name of journal italicized then that's where my head gets fuzzy hold on uh, yeah i'm supposed to have it here just give me one sec guys let me remind myself about something that's the other part of the journal. This is the author web page. Oh, yes, journal. Right. Da, 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 da. Name of journal. What do you call this again? Hope this not tell me everything about the journal. Ah. Uh, the DOI and the things at the end. All right. I think this is volume, then page number, volume, pages. This would be the DOI. No, that's not. Don't quote me fully to the right. This would be the URL. All right, so something like this, but I'm 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 almost sure I'm missing one or two things. So let's just watch the clip for the journal, and then we fill in the blanks in terms of what I got. I may have left. It. I know I left something out. Probably not. Probably. Let's listen. How to reference APA seventh edition. There is perhaps no kind of source more frequently referenced and cited in academia than a journal article. Therefore, today we're going to cover how to create a reference entry for a journal article, whether it's a print journal or an online journal. When creating a reference entry for a journal article, we're going to follow the standard prescribed order outlined by APA 7th edition. That means we begin with the author, we follow that through with the date, the title of the work, and then the location. So, in accordance with APA 7th edition, we begin with the author. The surname or family name will come first and will be closed out with a comma. In this case, we have Gambino, comma. The initials of any names included in publication will follow the surname and will be closed out with a period. In this case, C, period. The author's name is followed with the year of publication, which is placed in parentheses and it's also closed out with a period. Once we have the date, we're going to follow that up with the article title, which will likewise be closed out with a period. Because the article title is a short work, it will not be italicized. Moreover, because the article has a title and not a proper name, we will not use proper name capitalization. Instead, we will simply capitalize the first word, the first word of the subtitle, 
and any proper names, initializations, or acronyms that appear in the article title. The article title is followed by the name of the journal, which is closed out with a comma rather than a period because we still need to add some information in order to locate the article within the journal. Now there are some formatting differences between the article title and the journal's name. For example, the journal is the larger work, so it must be italicized in contrast with the article title, which is not. Likewise, the article title isn't a proper name, but the journal's name is a proper name. So you will capitalize everything except for prepositions and conjunctions that are less than four letters or the words the, a, and an, unless they're at the beginning of a sentence. Now you may have noticed that the journal's name is actually on the second line of the reference. APA uses a hanging indent for the reference page. This means that the first line will be left aligned, but those underneath of it will be indented 0 0.5 inches or 1.27 centimeters. The volume number and issue number will follow. Two key points. The volume number will be in italics because it is a larger work that contains issues, the smaller works. The issues will not be in italics, but to differentiate the two numbers, we will put them in parentheses. The volume and issue number are typically followed by a page range. However, if the article is published strictly online and doesn't have page numbers, you can simply put the article number or e-locator after the issue and close it out with a period. If there are page numbers, introduce the first and last page numbers and link them with a hyphen before closing them out with a period. If you're creating a reference entry for a print version of the journal article, there's no further information required. However, most people will access journal articles online, in which case you need to provide an electronic source. To do this, you have three options. First, you can provide the DOI number. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier. And this initialization will actually be put in lower case for your reference entry. It will be followed by a colon and then the DOI number. Now, special note, do not put a space between the colon that follows DOI and the DOI number itself. If there isn't a DOI number, but the source does provide a DOI link, then you can put the DOI link instead of the DOI number. If you cannot find the DOI number or link, you can simply copy and paste the URL. However, the DOI is preferred because most URLs will have a university specific ID within them that prohibits anybody from outside of the university to accessing that source, making it difficult for many readers to open up those sources. Special note, when providing a link, the seventh edition of APA actually requires that they be hyperlinked, unlike the sixth edition. So do keep that in mind when referencing electronic sources. Now you have an outline for what you need to do in order to create a... All right, so, the, so let's go back to what we were doing just to see if we... So let me copy and paste the link first in the chat so that... and then stop sharing and then let's go back to what we were doing to see what was left out if anything at all all right so so we have the i think we had the volume number italicized and the issue number issue number I'm going to put it in brackets. Remember that part, right, people? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So, so I think that was the only thing that was missing. So let me just bold italicized here. Let's home bold italicized. Let's look at italicized again. Bold italicized. Bold italicized. Right. So academic journals know. Oh, one last thing. Let me 
paste this in the WhatsApp group. Can somebody say hi in the WhatsApp group, please? Because I have to WhatsApp group. I'm not sure which one is which. Just say hi in the WhatsApp group. Thanks. So, so let me paste this in the WhatsApp group. Let's do this. Screenshot. All right. All right, so I just pasted that. All right, so let me show you something now. Where do you find journal articles? Let's go Google. Let me just share screen quickly. Google Chrome, go over here. Are you seeing my screen? Yes, sir. You might go Google. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Google, yes, sir. Google Scholar is very good. Google Scholar. And you see they have articles. So let's just say we're looking at the. Um, did I give you some specific narrow topics or impact of, let's say, social media on mental health? Let's say that we're writing something like that. Uh, uh, sometimes I'll say actual journal article. Sometimes I literally type it in and they will actually give you, let's see if this is a journal article. Yes, this is, this is journal, because it says journal of blah, 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 accept all cookies, right? So, all right, can you write down all the information we need so that we can do the example? Write down all the information that is needed here so that so we're going to look at do the actual thing, okay? Let me know when you're finished writing. Finish writing? Oh, hold on, sir. Have the information or you can take a picture of it. So not at all, because you guys are moving on to the tips. The link is in the chat as well. All right, so you're going to make note of that, but here I want for you to find a find two journal articles on the following narrowed topic. How, all right, hold on, let me see if I can get something. Probably I need to start. 
So if you want information about the journal article, it is in the chat. You just need to click on the link. What's here? No my narrow topics. Oh Lord. Get my narrow topics. Would it be lecture three? Sometimes it is. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. All right, so write this down for me. Room one, I don't open the rooms yet. So Alea, Carla, Chantal, and Shanet, you're going to find two journal articles on this topic for me. Please write. If I can't find my topic, so I just open the thing. Oh, yes. Emotional effects of divorce on children Emotional effects of divorce on children. Have that? One person in that in that. Yes, yeah. sir. All right. So room two, Kasia, Natalia, Shantel, and Yashika. Room two. Factors affecting the performance of male students in the Caribbean. Factors affecting the performance of male students in the, in the Caribbean. Room two, Casey, Anatoya, Chantel, and Yashika. Factors affecting the, male, the performance of male students in the Caribbean. You have that? Yes, Hello? sir. Yes. Okay, room three. Janelle, Nikita, Roberta, <coughs> and uh, I think this Roberta and Rakisha. That's yes, room, sir. Room three. All right, give me one sec. Benefits of Benefits of cybersecurity to small businesses. Benefits of cybersecurity to small businesses. Benefits of cybersecurity to small businesses. And room four, Janelle, Kirk, Shanice, and Tariq. Mr. Clive. Yes. Sir, which one of them? Is it Janelle, Sorel, and Jan Miss? Sir, you're repeating Janelle two times. I just I want did. to be sure. Janelle Johnson is in room three. Oh. Okay, sir. Janelle Sutherland is in room four. Did I tell you? I didn't give you the topic for room four, right? No, I don't think so. Um... How burnt out in the workplace affects productivity. How burnt out in the workplace affects productivity. Everybody has that? Everybody has their, their, their narrow topic, room one, room two, room three, room four? Yes, sir. And yes, you're sir. finding two journal articles on each, and then you're going to document the one that I gave you. So each room should have three. Everybody has that? Everybody understands? No, sir. Explain again. 
Please repeat room paper, Chancellor. Please. I don't remember what I said. That's what I told you guys to write because I'm talking from oh, my yeah, head. I have, it, I, I have it written down, but I just wanted to confirm. Sir, explain your information. information. So what you're doing, you're finding two journal articles on the narrow topic that I gave you. Each room has a different narrow topic. Is that clear? Right. Yes, sir. So you're going to, just as I went into Google Scholar and find two um, journal articles, you're going to find the two journal articles and you're going to document them according to how we, I just showed you. All right, all you need to do is to look back at the example as well as watch the video. Then the original one that we did together, remember we didn't write that up about social media and mental health. I want for you to document that as well. So in other words, when you share your screen, you're going to be showing three journal articles. One that we all did together about social media and health, mental health, and the second two will be based on your narrow topic. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, yes, sir. all right. So I'm going to open the room now. Sutherland and Shanet, you're not, you haven't moved. Shanet Bailey? Miss Bailey, the inf the, the, you don't need to hear because if you look at the system, it will tell you which room you're in. You're in room one.
Janelle, you are the you are, can you hand O's to me, please? Janelle or Janelle? Ms. How Sutherland? do I do that? Are you the host? I'm almost sure it says that you're the host. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, so you're gonna click to your click to your click to your top right. You're gonna see more and you're gonna click yes. on the and then you're going to make me host. Rename. You heard me? Hold on. Ah. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, make me host, please. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, so we are on out of the breakout room. So Carla, Chantal, Shanet, go ahead and share your screen, please. Room one, Carla, Chantal, and Shanet. Come in, sir. There is, why is the, the B, why I think in a separate line? I don't understand that. That is not um, hanging. None of those two things are hanging. None of the two sources are hanging. Indent and spacing, that's what you click on. Go back to the same place where you were, you could have gone on indent and spacing. You need to highlight the thing first. Right. It's not indented. The second source is not properly documented. I don't know how the, the, the name of the journal reaches is a separate line. I'm not understanding how it is in a separate line. Right. So did the, the, the article, the, the, uh, you did not see the DOI for the journal and I'm sure undergraduate should begin with a capital letter. You didn't see the DOI for the, for the journal? I 
I'm speaking and nobody is responding. I'm not hearing. Um, Carla, I'm talking to you and your no, group sir. members. No, sir, I did not see it. I copied everything from the URL. Can you stop sharing screen, please, and go to the first link? Let me see if it's, um, let me see what the kind of sources is, because this thing is not, um, you're supposed to be able to identify. That's... I know that's not supposed to be there. Can you go to this, the original source that you're citing from for the first one and share a screen? Because sometimes the information is there. You have to just look at, really look for it. You understand what I'm saying, Carla? I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. All right, copy and paste the link for me in the chat. Copy and paste the link for me in the chat. Okay, sir. Sir, the link is in the chat. Okay, hold on, because I'm trying not to chat. So volume number issue one. All right, let me see something. Sometimes they actually tell you how to cite it. Published by Hyperlink. Okay. All right. Share back your screen because they are actually telling me how to cite it. I'm not sure if you saw how to actually cite the thing but they actually show you how to cite the article cite the journal piece i'm not sure if you saw that because i know most journals here is how it actually ought to be cited so share back your screen let me see if it's the same thing all right so it is the negative effects blah 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 blah, blah. remove the pp in this you don't put pp Right. Uh, retrieved from I'm not sure if that's why is that you're supposed to put a full stop at the thing at the end of the number. Where's the space between the full stop and the R? Comma. There should be a comma between the eight and the six. There should be a comma, um, a space between the full stop and emotional. I shouldn't be telling you these things, people. You're supposed to know this already. You're properly spaced the thing. Journal of Divorce and Remarriage. I'm sure the R, the D must be capital and the R must be capital. The information specifically told you that um, the name of the journal in the name of the journal it must be italicized and all the only you only low um use common letters for words that are prepositions and so forth. 
there's still something wrong. Hold on. Just is something right. There should be a comma after psychology and it should not be italicized. There should be a comma at, after psychology and it's not supposed to be italicized. So you need to remove the italics. Remember, I said the comma should not be italicized. You know, I never said the word, the title of the journal. Please follow simple instructions. I said the comma should not be italicized. That's what I said. Thank you. There should not be any extra space. What font size is this? Because the retrieve from seems to be a different font. The first one, I, I am I am still a little bit journal of child's well-being. What did I give you to look at? What was the narrative topic? Can you remind me about the narrative topic? The effects of divorce on children. The it's effects the, of the no man, it's the emotional effects on divorce on children. Emotional effects of divorce on divorce children. Of children, right. All right, so you you need to remove the hyper. Why is the, the hyperlink? Why is this thing not hanging? Because this you this um URL was not done. Can you backspace and see what happens with the with the URL? Because I don't think it was included as a part of the thing. That's why you're having a challenge. Space. Right. The comma must be up the not Christ. It's retrieved past tense. Why is the comma in that line? The comma must be right after from. Thank you. Remove the hyperlink, please. You don't need to copy everything to move that, remove the hyperlink. Christ, hallelujah. Why are you removing the, I said remove the hyperlink, you're, you're removing the entire URL. Can you just undo, please? I'm too miserable. Can you just press enter? Go back and copy just the URL, please. Just copy the URL alone. Man of blood pressure, sir, man of blood pressure. You right, right click for me. Christ. Right click for me. And it's going to tell you to remove hyperlink. Can you just right click and hold on and, and wait on my instructions? Can you right click for me, please? Right click for me. And there it is, remove hyperlink. Thank you. There's too much space. Go back to Eaton and go back and, and press backspace for me. Go to put the cursor at eaten no that's that's not double space go go back press back back for me all right so hi, co copy and pay, copy everything for me from ashmini all the way down everything all right so go back through the hanging process now and double space Hopefully everything is hanging. Did you click on hanging? I don't see hanging in that thing. You know. Let's see if it works. You're not supposed to do anything else. Leave it alone, hallelujah. Press cancel for me, please. It is okay. Right.
you're supposed to be a comma at marriage, at remarriage. The, the comma should not be hyphenated. I tell the size, I mean, I'm not seeing the comma. Where is it? Where is the comma? Um, there should be a space between the, right. Said, and if I even had to tell you right there, there should be a space. I just said a space and I don't know actually what else to do. Right. Same thing down on the bottom where 13 and one is. All right, let me double check something. That was not done properly. So this example is actually better. Where is the one that you were supposed to do in class? Hold on, something is wrong. Hashmini is, is not to the left of the left of the page. Can you left align it for me, please? Just press backspace and it might just work. Then press backspace now. Press backspace. Press backspace. Something is wrong because it is there and this one is up there. Something is wrong. Something is wrong, is wrong with the alignment. All right, you're going to work it out. All right, and I know I was a little bit rough a while ago, but I, um, just bear with me. So room one, you're going to fix, and I'm sure by now room two, room three, and room four would understand some of the corrections, but the one about the BYU undergraduate journal in psychology that is correct, is just the alignment now to be fixed in the first one. I'm not seeing the, the, the original one that I gave you to the but that's okay. All right, so thank you very much, Carla, and 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 um and the rest of room one, room two. Stop sharing for me and so we can go to room two. Go ahead for me, room two. Sorry, we didn't get to finish. You didn't do any of them? Sir, I started typing the one that you did, but I searched for the information for the others. But, it, but you had the information for at least one. The one that we, I gave you in class, so that yes. one could have been done. Yes, sir, it's not finished, fix, fix, finished fixing up. Okay, all right, I'm going to move on to room three. Room three, Janelle, Roberta, Rakisha, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Go ahead for me. Yes, sir. All right, let's see. All right, so, so the internet speed on the computer, we get to the one on the computer. So this is one. All right. Uh, management cyber skin. This is my journal of. So management science, business and intelligence, all uppercase. Management. So all the capital letters are needed in the name of the journal. All right. Some spacing issues now. So the, there's a there's a comma. Uh, the space is needed between the comma and the number two. Right. And what are we supposed to put in bracket? Is it the the volume number or the issue number? Is it the one that is supposed to be in brackets or is it the volume? Right. So it's the volume number. Volume number all. I, I made an error. You were following oh, my sir. instructions. Issue yes. issue oh, number, sir. It's the issue number. Is the issue, issue number? number in brackets, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let me just double check. Number. Let me see if you it's guys right are. Here. Hold it's on, right hold here. on. No, hold on, yes, hold on. I, I wrote it out from the video. I wrote it from the video. All right, hold on. Let me just see if I get it older or what. So it's the issue number that is in brackets. Right, people? Brackets. Yes, sir. That's what I was saying. Yes, you were, we were saying both saying the same things. All right, nine to. Yes, so this is correct. Managing cybersecurity and e-commerce risks in small business. Right, so this is correct. So you only have, you have the two others to do. All right, thanks, room three. Room four. Janil, I hope that's that. Sutherland. Um, Kurt, Shanice, and, Tar and Tariq. Let's see what you guys okay. have. Okay, sir. Um, we weren't able to complete all of them, but I'll be able to share what I have from my phone here. Okay, That's go ahead. All right. 
Alright, let me pull it out. What I have here from my phone. Again, this was done from my phone. Are you able to see it? Yes. All right. So let us help him. Um, comment for me, people. Is it correct? We're seeing a 2004 source that is those um that source dead and gone long time. Yes, it's after I selected the the, the article, I realized that it was mm. past the date the deadline. Yes, so Kurt. Mm -hmm. No, I all believe that. Yeah, so right. I I will rectify that one afterwards, but I have the to, to show, you know. All right. Do we think that these sources are relevant to the to the what was your narrow topic again? Yes, my narrow topic is how burnt out in the workplace affects productivity. That's the right. first one at the top there. All right, so a value from our information. This is ethics. But I'm not seeing volume number and issue number. I'm just seeing the volume number. Where's the issue number? Because the, the 129 no, I'm, I'm... to one... Yes, those are those are the, those are the pages, but I'm not seeing an issue number with that article. If you click on, uh, let me click on the link. No, don't click on the link. Your... Don't click on the link. Just share the link in the chat. Let somebody in your group share the link in the chat, because what one you will what you will find with um with journal articles many times they will show you how to cite them. So sometimes they think the information is not there, but they actually t show you how to cite them. All right. All right, sir. All right, so I'll share the link inside of the chat. All right, go back to the source, Missy. Go back to this. So, yeah, show me for me now, please. Thank you. All right. All right, so benefits should begin with a capital B, right? Because it comes after a, a, a punctuation mark. It comes after a colon. So benefits should begin with a capital letter. And there, uh, there's, needs, this, there's a need for space between five and the bracket as well as 49 and the bracket. Okay. All right. All right. Five hundred bracket and four bracket. Benefit should be in capital. All right. All right. Um. All right. So let me click on the link and see if the if they are actually giving you. Let me find this source because. Just to see. This is the one that I gave you, right? The second one is the one that you, 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 you gave us. Right. All to do, and the first one is the narrow topic. Okay. Uh, cite this in article. All right. So that's. Okay. Right. They don't have any issue number. Oh, the D, but the DOI is there. They gave you the deal. I the deal. I you know. Stop sharing. Let me show you. The deal. I is there. Okay, sir. I stopped sharing. All right. Where is it? Here, sir. Here it is. DOI. Here it is. So okay. if you go back, it says cite this in article. I tell you that with journals, they'll tell you how to cite their the journal. So this in general, they are showing you how to do it. Even though this is not necessarily APA, fully APA, this is more MLA. Yeah, this more looks like MLA. So that's what I realized. That's why I didn't follow it to the to the T. No, but you have the information though. So the so the, the DOI is right here. So this is what you should have um put for your DOI at the end. Okay. Okay. Understood, All right. Sir. Yes. All right. Thanks. Um, room. That's what room three or four. Yes, sir. That's yes. Room four. The yes. DOI number. If it doesn't, you're telling me that if it doesn't have a um issue number, we can use the DOI number at the end. No, no, no. Um, please go back and watch the video. What is the DOI number? The DOI. The DOI is, number. The DOI is not it, a number. It is not a number. It is how you locate the journal article on the internet. Just like when okay. you say retrieve from, and you have the URL, in the case of a journal, they have what is called a digital object identifier. In other words, where you can find a journal article on the internet. Okay. So there's this, so don't think of DOI as a number. The issue number and the volume number are two different things from the DOI. All okay. right? Yes. 
All right, so, so far, so good. We're, 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 we're doing very well. And you'll realize that Mr. Clark is miserable. So you have to just work with it. It's, I try to not be as miserable as I am, but it's, uh, it's genetic. All right, so we did journal. Let me see if we leave out anything because we're not going to do every single type of source. We're going to do the ones that are relevant to our paper. Do I want it to do unpublished works? No, I don't want it to do unpublished works. Not at this stage. Do I want to decide from social media? No. There is one other thing that I want, and I think I'm going to teach you it. But let me first revisit something. How to cite an image. Right. Okay. Right. Let me see if. All right. So let us say one of the things that I'll be teaching you is that I don't think the institution has caught up with, but I spoke to the person in charge, is that images can now be used as evidence. And I'm sure you have read some of the textbooks that you are, you are reading and have, you know, and you see images being a part of what is used to explain a concept or so forth. You're right, people? Yes, sir. Right. So one of the things that I will be teaching you, it's not on the course outline, but it's something, the course outline is very dated, very old and needs some serious revision. Um, how academic writing is done, images are no, well, images have always been accepted. It's just that at this level, we tend not to teach you it. But I think even at UA, I, when I spoke to a colleague, um, the Dr. Daesh said to me that the university has also moved in that direction and we can't be left behind because as them say, you know more than we. So let's look at how to document or how to how to reference images in APA 7th edition. Let's listen. To UTS Library's video on how to reference images in the APA 7th style. In this video, we will cover how to reference and reproduce images according to the APA 7th rules. APA provides detailed guidance on how to reference a range of images from artwork to infographics. But there are a few consistent principles you'll need to be aware of no matter what kind of image you are referencing. If you are only mentioning an image in your work and not reproducing it, then you would reference the image with an in-text citation, just as you do for any other type of resource. The in-text citation is made up of the author's name and the year of publication. If there is no publication date available, replace the date with ND. At the end of your work, you would then include a reference list entry using the format author, date, title in italics and media type in square brackets, source, and a URL if applicable. If there is no author listed for the image you are using, you can use the source as the author. If the image does not have a title, instead write a brief description of the image inside square brackets. This is the general structure for referencing images. To reference more specific types of images, see the guide available on the library's APA referencing page. If you are going to reproduce an image in your work, instead of using an in-text citation, you will need to assign the work a figure number and include a title and copyright attribution. Above the image you are reproducing, you should include a figure number. These numbers should be assigned by the order the images appear in your work and they should be bolded. Directly under the figure number, you need to include the title of the image in italics. If the image does not have a title, write a short description of the image instead. Underneath the image, you need to include a note that contains the copyright attribution. This should follow the following format. Start with from if you are directly reproducing the work, or adapted from if you have altered the image. Then list the title in italics, by the author with their initials first, the year of publication, and then the source of the material. Where applicable, this should also include the URL you retrieved the image from, in parentheses. Finally, you need to include the copyright information for the image. There are a number of different copyright types the image may be subject to. If it is copyrighted by the author, you would write copyright by. In cases where the image we're referring to is in a published book, list the publisher as the copyright holder. If the image is under a Creative Commons license, 
use this as your copyright attribution. Or, if the image is in the public domain, you simply need to write, in the public domain. If you aren't sure what the copyright status of your image is, you should assume that it is under copyright and credit the author. In this video, we have covered how to reference images in the APA 7th style and how to reproduce images with a copyright attribution. For more information about copyright, as well as referencing images, refer to our Referencing Images Guide, which you can find on the All right, so let me... Um, this is something that we should... How to... Give me one sec, how to... Let me show you something else to include an image. As in text citation. Let's see how they say. Right. Because what I'm going to ask you to do are just citing pictures in APA. Uh, no. What I want, what I'm, uh, all right. So the intention is for you at some point to include at least one image or a figure in your documented paper um, as part of your use of evidence. So let's look at this particular, no, the, the other side of the coin, no, what I showed you a while ago was referencing. Let's look at in-text citation first before I ask you to do the class activity. Like hi everyone. Did I'm is it a little is it clear to everybody what I'm my what the intention is in terms of exposing you to how you you don't just use of evidence is not just for example words, but it can be images. Yes, sir. Yes, and it can be for my course or for any other course. It's just that it has to be properly cited and documented. All right. So let's let this together. I'm Amy and I'm a faculty librarian here at Toy Ohomai. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to reference images and figures using APA 7th edition. There are three parts to referencing images and figures in your assignment, which I will be explaining in turn. These are the caption, the reference list, and the in-text citation. Please note that these are the toy ohonai expectations for referencing images and figures. They may differ for other tertiary institutions. Please see the APA 7th publication manual for full details. I briefly want to mention what is considered an image or figure. It can be a photograph, artwork, graph, chart, drawing, map, or any other graphical display. This is with the exception of tables, which are referenced differently. Let's start with the caption. This is the information that will surround your figure. At the top will be your figure number. This will be in bold. Assign the numbers in the order in which each figure is first mentioned in the text. Next, you'll have the figure title. Give every figure a brief but clear and explanatory title. The content of the figure should be easily understood from the title. Write the figure title in italics and capitalize the first letter of any major words. This is called title case. Generally, major words are four or more letters. They do not include words such as a, the, as, to, and so on. Next, you'll have the figure. This needs to be large enough to see without it overcrowding your assignment. Finally, below the image, you'll have the citation. This includes the author and copyright date in brackets. Now we will have a look at how to put the figure into the reference list. For images that come from books, journal articles or websites, you will reference the image as that book journal article or website. However, you will also add the type of figure in square brackets after the title. Have a look on screen, for example. 
All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to copy this and paste in the WhatsApp group so that you are, because everybody's going to find an actual image. Examples. Things are a bit different when it comes to artwork in the museum or gallery, and when you take a photo of someone else's art. For this, start with the creator of the artwork, then put in the date of creation. If there is no known date, put in n.d. Then you will put in the title of the artwork. This will be in italics and in sentence case. This means only the first letter of the first word is capitalized, as well as any proper nouns. If the creator did not name the artwork, put in your own description in square brackets in place of the title. After the title, place the medium of the artwork in square brackets. Next, you will need to put in the location of the artwork. Start with the gallery or museum it is in, then put in the city and country. If the artwork is on the gallery or museum website, add the URL to the artwork to the end of the reference. Next, we will look at how to mention the figure in the body of your assignment. For this, never refer to it as the image above or the photograph below, as formatting can shift during writing or sending it to another person, which can lead to errors. Instead, always refer to your figures by their figure number. For example, you could say, as seen in figure one, or figure two shows, or you could write your sentence and have in brackets, see figure three. Now that I've shown you the components for referencing an image or figure, I want to show how it looks all together in an assignment. This again is important in terms of um, a documented paper, because as I said before, I want everybody to learn how to do that. Um, so I just took a picture. I'm going to post it in the WhatsApp group. But let's see what she has to say. This information was gathered from the TRO webpage onto Atara. Please note, this sample essay is only intended as an example for using figures. Do not use any information from it without properly referencing the TRO website. Here, we can see I have used a photo of male and female to Atara. Surrounding this picture, I have the figure number in bold, the title below this in italics, and then the citation below the figure. In the body of the essay, I have mentioned the figure as its figure number. For this photograph, I have used C figure one in brackets. Here is another example of an image in this assignment. As you can see, I have created the caption and I have mentioned it in text as its figure number. At the bottom of the page, I have the reference list. I have only put in the references for these two figures. Your assignment will likely have a lot more. As you can see, I have referenced these figures as the resources they came from, with the figure type in square brackets after the title. With that, we come to the end of our video on how to reference. All right, is it clear or not so clear? Talk to me. Sir, it's not so clear. It is unclear for you. Yes. A lot of information on time. Not so clear, sir, but can understand what you were saying, with, especially with the photo part that we need to do. Sir, yes? is, APA, is APA an acronym for someone? Yes, did you watch the recording? We had we explained that in our first lecture. Did you watch the first lecture? I, I, wasn't, I don't think I was in the class the first. No. 
And did you watch? That's why I asked if you watched the recording. No, no, sir. I didn't. I have not watched. Yes, you need to watch it. What is the meaning of APA? Can somebody help her? What's the meaning of APA? People? American Psychological Association. Right. Association. She needs to go and watch the recording because we, we discuss all of that and why we use APA and who uses APA versus the other types of um, documentation styles. All right, what they're saying is this, people. So remember, um, let's go back to the, let me just share back screen, right? And kind of explain. I'm kind of exposing you to something that is not on the syllabus, but you need to learn. So let us say that you're writing a paper about criminal justice and whatever in America, right? This is a source, right? The book without chapter, right, people? Yes, sir. Right. We have edited book, book with chapter, book without chapter, right? And then we have newspaper, we have magazine, we have so forth. What I just showed you now is the same, is the same thing you're going to do now in terms of an image. Let us say that you are using an image as a source. Let us say that you're using an image as a source. What, there, what I was showing a while ago is how to cite it or reference it. Did anybody write down the instructions? Anybody wrote down the instructions of how you, you cite the image? No, sir. No, sir. All right, so I, I shared it in the chat as well as the WhatsApp group. What, I, what, what I'm trying to get you to, to, to appreciate is the... All right, so let's do our boxes first. Uh, I'm on more sure they said last name, comma, first name, initial. What was the other thing after that? I'm almost sure it's year. Date it was created. Publication. Isn't if it the year of If there's a date, if there's no date, you could end. Well, I prefer if you have, usually we don't like when people choose images that don't have any date because sometimes that speaks to the, it affects the credibility of the piece, so we don't like when you use images that have no date, right? All right, so let's go back to the, let's go back to the thing. What's this? Didn't I put it in there? Right. showing you how to reference images and figures using APA 7th edition. There are three parts to referencing images and figures in your assignment, which I will be explaining in turn. These are the caption, the reference list, and the in-text citation. Please note that these are the toy ohonai expectations for referencing images and figures. They may differ for other tertiary institutions. Please see the APA 7th publication manual for full details. I briefly want to mention what is considered an image or figure. It can be a photograph, artwork, graph, chart, drawing, map, or any other graphical display. This is with the exception of tables, which are referenced differently. Let's start with the caption. This is the information that will surround your figure. At the top will be your figure number. This will be in bold. Assign the numbers in the order in which each figure is first mentioned in the text. Next. All right, so figure one just means that it's the first image in your text. Let's pretend that this is the essay. This is the essay part of it. This is, in other words, you're putting it in a body paragraph, even though we don't reach there yet, but I just want you to understand the concept. 
All right, this is the title of it and this is the source, but let's listen. You'll have the figure title. Give every figure a brief but clear and explanatory title. The content of the figure should be easily understood from the title. Write the figure title in italics and capitalize the first letter of any major words. This is called title case. Generally, major words are four or more letters. They do not include words such as a, the, as, to, and so on. Excuse me, sir. Next, you have the figure. Yes. Have a next class. Okay. What time the class ends? Seven, oh, the class. Sir. oh, Jesus, hallelujah. My Lord, I'm late for my other class. You guys could have stopped me. I was I was the time. Time. Oh, my Lord. My students are going to crucify me. <laughs> sir, I learned. I learned. We're learning now. And oh. we're, we're, no, we kept, we're learning and we want, you know, that's why. We never so. see the time. Sir. We never see the time. I, went I somebody saw the time, but somewhere in my head, I was just somewhere else. My Lord. I saw sir, already I said, sir, I'm leaving for an next class. My phone kind of said, weird. At seven o'clock okay. already? I joined late. I, I, late. I wasn't sure know. what the arrangement was there. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Thanks for pointing that out. All right, guys. We'll stop here for today um, and we'll pick up on... um. We'll pick up on Wednesday. If by chance you want to try the image one, just try, just watch back the video. I put the link in the chat. It's not any homework, but if you want to try it, that would be good. All right, it's not homework, but if you want to try it, that would be good. Just watch back the video and try to play around with the information and see what you can come up with. And you can work in the same groups that you worked in before. All right? Sir, sir this would be like when we were doing our SBA, but we didn't um, give credit exactly, to the, exactly, to the images. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That's okay. right. Yes, okay. exactly. All right, have a good night, everybody. I must run. Thank you, sir. You too.